Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your Windows 11 computer is not recognizing your iPhone, iPad, iPod, or other Apple or Macintosh device. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd recommend doing would be to open up the Start Menu Search. Search for Control Panel. Best result, check a Mac with Control Panel. Go ahead and open that up. Set your view by to large icons, and then select Programs and Features. You want to go select the Apple Mobile Device Support and select the Repair button. Select Yes if you receive the User Account Control Prompt. And now you want to select Apple Software Update and then also select Repair. Select Yes. Now we're going to do the same thing for iTunes as well, but please make sure you have a backup of your iTunes library if it's downloaded onto your computer here. So make sure you have a backup saved to the cloud or some other source because we are going to be repairing it here. So go ahead and select Repair. Select Yes if you receive a user account control prompt. And once that's done, close out of here. Now you want to open up the search menu. Type in device manager. Best result, you should go back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. You want to expand the universal serial bus controller section. So double click on it. And then you want to locate the Apple mobile device USB driver on this list. Again, it would say Apple mobile device USB driver. You would right click on it. And then you would select update driver. And then you go ahead and search automatically for drivers. That would be the first option you would select here. You can also try searching through Windows Update as well. And if you are not finding anything, you can also select Browse My Computer for Drivers and select, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the generic one if there's only one in here. And then Next. Select Close. Close it here. Another thing you want to do is open up the search menu. Type in Services. Go ahead and open that up. Now you want to go ahead and look for the Apple mobile device service, if you see one in here. So I'm going to make it a little bit wider, but you can see it right here. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. Make sure service status is running. If it's not, if it's just stopped, you want to select start. And it's at syrup type to automatic, and then you would select apply and OK. So once you're done with that, you can close out of here, and then you would go ahead and restart your computer. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Hopefully that was able to resolve your issue. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.